What's up, everybody? Uh-huh. I think this palette is so good. Time to get some pizza. Yes. Look at those. I'm about to try to put some colors together and see how this turns out. And then I'm going to share it with you guys. So, ready for some pizza? Let's go. Everybody uses their brushes different, including me. So, I'm going to take this brush right here. And instead of using actual eyeliner, I'm going to use this brush here. And I'm just going to go across the top. Now, I have some eye shields, which are really good, especially if you already have your foundation on. And you just don't want to do that. Okay? Now, of course, if you've been doing makeup forever, you don't feel like you need those eyeshadows or eyelids that go underneath here. But I wanted those. Here's what the eye shields look like. They're called shadow shields. And basically, you put them under your eyes to catch the shadows. Eyeshadow loose powder. You don't have to do this. A lot of people don't do this. Because, oh, I've been putting on makeup forever. I don't need to. And that's understandable. You don't have to. It's just good for protecting your, your foundation for what you have going on. Now, this color right here that I'm putting on is Red Onions. Now, I'm one of those people that can put this stuff on with my fingertips. But I just wanted to throw this on really quick. And show you. Yeah, it doesn't always drip. But you never know with the palettes. You never know what you're going to get. Now, as you can see. I'm being ghetto. Yeah. Because I didn't want to use two of these. I want to use one. Because technically, do I really need it? Probably not. But just in case. So I'm using green pepper to go under or right below or right above the red onions. Now... I probably could have did better lighting. Let's just be real about it, but... Dude, I gotta do what I gotta do when I got a chance to do it. Here we go. Let's finish this. Now, my last thing in this palette I'm gonna use is pineapple. Who puts pineapple on their pizza? I think it goes good with ham. When your pizza has ham on it, I think it's awesome. I'm just gonna put it there, and then I'm gonna dip it back into the color and put it right in there. And y'all, eyeshadow don't have to be perfect. It's how you make it. So do it the way you do it. You don't have to go out there and see any of the beauty influencers and say, oh, I got to do it this way. I got to do it. Make it yours. That's how they got to be the way they are. So you get to do what you need to do in order to make your stuff look good to you. Don't worry about if you're doing it right or wrong because there's no right or right, wrong way to do makeup. Okay. Now, lastly, I take my foundation brush, which is my Eloise brush, and that's how I blend mine in. Remember all those little colors that I added? Now you can't tell, right? Remember, you have to make the makeup work for you and do it the way you like it. Now, lastly, I'm going to throw on some color. So here's what I do. I take a regular and I line it. Then I come back with another color. And as you can see, I came back with another color. And now let me finish the mascara, and then I'll show you how I end up coming out. How sometimes you use your mascara and it has kind of dried out a little bit. You can add a little alcohol in there, just a little. Shake it up well, and then add it. Yeah, I know I don't have any real long lashes or anything, and I have plenty of lashes I can add, but I wanted to use mine. 
and I'll take some Cover FX. And I like the way it sprays out because I try to keep my eyes open because you know how you, if you close them too tight, that mascara drops right to the bottom. Like here and here. Told you, things happen. I ain't got time to be erasing and starting over and doing all that kind of stuff. Y'all, this is real life. And we real people. And we ain't trying to be perfect, though. But we want to try to get it looking good. So, we do what we do. All right. And now, I just go back. I like a little gloss. And even though it's a matte finish, I still want a little gloss. And then here is my finished product. Y'all, yeah, menopause ain't no joke. You see me sweating up in hell? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, shit, y'all. And then I go back and color correct. <laughs> Sweat correct. <laughs> I just want to call it color correct. Ooh. <coughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I said real life. So what do you do with that? Hmm. Should I use a paper towel? Cause my ass is full. <laughs> you ever had that happen? Okay, I corrected it right here. How many people does that? <laughs> Not very many. All right, and this is my finished look. And I'm sweating, y'all. It's hot. Anyway, thank you for taking time out and watching the channel. This is your girl SJ here with Real Beauty, Real Food, and this just happened in real life. <sighs> time to go.